The vast majority of us don't give much thought to the earth beneath our feet, but the history of earth is contained inside its many layers, much like the pages of a book. According to research, there are parts of that history that have been largely forgotten and are buried deep into the past of the Earth. The Earth's inner core seems to include another core that is much more central to the planet. The Earth is said to be composed of four primary strata, according to conventional wisdom. Crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core are the four layers that make up the planet's interior. The majority of what we know about what lies beneath the crust of the Earth comes from inferences drawn from what volcanoes have shown and what seismic waves have murmured. Based on these indirect measurements, scientists have deduced that the scorchingly hot inner core of the Earth, which reaches temperatures of more than 5,000 degrees, accounts for barely 1% of the entire volume of the planet. Yet, a group of specialists made a discovery in this field a few years ago that suggests the planet's interior core may in fact be composed of two separate layers. It is quite intriguing, and it may indicate that we may need to rewrite the textbooks. The scientists made use of a search algorithm in order to trawl through thousands of models of the inner core and match them with observable data accumulated over many decades. This was done by the International Seismological Center on the amount of time it takes for seismic waves to travel through the Earth. So, what exactly is located below? The group investigated several models of the anisotropy of the inner core in order to determine how variations in the composition of its material affect the characteristics of seismic waves. They discovered certain ones were more likely than others. While some models suggest that the material of the inner core conducts seismic waves quicker parallel to the equator, others indicate that the combination of materials allows for faster waves that are more parallel to the Earth's rotational axis. Even still, there are debates on the precise degree to which the two views differ at certain angles. The research presented here did not demonstrate a significant amount of variation with depth in the inner core. However, it did find that there was a change in the slow direction to an angle of 54 degrees, with the quicker direction of waves flowing parallel to the axis. The discovery by experts of evidence that may point to a shift in the structure of iron shows that there may have been two distinct periods of cooling in the history of the Earth. When it comes to our understanding of the Earth's inner core, we've added another piece to the puzzle, but the specifics of this significant event are still a little bit of a mystery. These recent discoveries may shed light on why some experimental evidence has been discordant with our existing conceptions of the Earth's structure. The existence of an innermost layer has been hypothesized in the past. There is now some evidence to support this theory, including indications that the iron crystals that make up the inner core have distinct structural alignments. According to what the group noted in their research, we are limited by the distribution of worldwide earthquakes and receivers, particularly at the polar antipodes. They went on to add that the absence of data lowers the degree of certainty associated with their findings. Yet, their findings are consistent with those found in prior research on the anisotropy of the innermost core of the planet. In the future, studies may fill in some of these data gaps. This will enable scientists to validate or refute their previous discoveries and, ideally, translate other stories recorded within this early stratum of the history of the Earth.